See, right out of that boardroom, people have to make a decision to better their life. And to better their life, you have to be great at making decisions. But do they teach us that in school? No. So here, the Money Smart Movement team, headquarters here in Oak Brook, Illinois, we're grooming, teaching entrepreneurs how to be better business people by making smarter decisions. Let's check this out. Right? How many of Toys R Us people say, well, I'll find something else in retail. I've been in retail for 25 years. It's been very good to me. Very good to you. You're getting laid off. You're delusional. You're going to put yourself in the same predicament over the next 25 years that you got in the last 25. You think retail is improving? I don't see that as a booming sector. You know, there's going to be a point where malls aren't malls anymore. You know the malls in the Philippines? They're calling centers. And think about it, just not just retail. Think about the trucks that supply the retail stores. Supply chains. Manufacturers. It's a ripple effect. So there's more jobs that's being lost than just the initial store. But you, guess what you got to do? You got to help people make better decisions by letting them know what their options are. Come on, baby. I know you got bills to pay. I'll take care of you. I get your paycheck benefits. You always got a place to be at. Come on, baby. Daddy takes care of you. Really? Daddy going to take care of you, huh? What about all these companies here that promise to pay people, promise them security, and just threw them out in the streets? Last time I checked, the person that controls your income controls you. And when you get your paycheck from daddy, I want you to enjoy yourself. I want you to go out there. I want you to spend money. I want you to be living life. YOLO, baby. You only live once. Come on, make money to spend money. Yeah? How's that working out? When's the last time you were in a financial bind and you had to sell your shoes, your Xbox, go down to a pawn shop, put extra money on a credit card when you need to, or your family went through an emergency situation and you had to put up like GoFundMe account? You want to know the truth? The truth is, savers are players. Because when everything is in a bind, they got the cash to go into a market to take advantage of an opportunity, and they become millionaires. And to even further celebrate that daddy's taking care of you, next Friday, TGI Friday, baby, Jay-Z's in town, limo, popping bottles, the best three hours of your life, baby. You gotta worry about tomorrow. Daddy's taking care of you. Come on, let's light up the night. No notes and no concert. That's it? One night? One night out in town? Is it really worth it? I remember having those weekend buddies too. Don't see them much today. But here's the thing, what are you building for? Just for one night? Or are you looking to actually build a life? The reality is that entrepreneurs will not today, so therefore they can live a life others cannot tomorrow. What do you want to do? The choice is yours. Now here's the first thing about making a better decision to improve your life. Number one, you're too emotional. Here's the bottom line. In any big change, there is a process. Back there I can fly a gunship. I can drive a tank. I was in charge of million dollar equipment. Back here I can't even hold a job. Fucking cars! I mean, if you thought you were doing something right and you later found out you were wrong, when would you want to know? Better question than that is, would you do something about it? Is it about you being biased to your own opinion or actually finding out the best answer for your situation? Is it about saving face or is it about you and your family achieving a goal? And the second part is listening because most people don't listen to understand. They listen to hear. They listen when they can interject. You want answers. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. They listen to defend themselves. But all along, people are bringing you circumstances, bring, people are bringing you situations to improve your life because they, they see things from a different perspective. And are you listening? Are you paying attention? Are you aware that you potentially have blind spots that you, you don't see that can cause you a lot of financial harm? Listen to understand. And the third part about making better decision is being absolutely open-minded. See, ego is usually the root of some problem or mistake. Oftentimes people say, you know what, Matt? I'm, I am open-minded, 
But yet, I'm not, I'm not wrong. Everybody else is wrong, but not me. I'm smart, you're dumb. I'm big, you're little. I'm right, you're wrong. And there's nothing you can do about it. That's not being open-minded. See, being open-minded means that you need to see all your options, and you need to see all your options all on the table. So this is probably one of the questions you might want to ask yourself, is can I detach myself from always being right in order to discover the freedom of learning the actual truth? So many people have put their loyalty and faith and trust in an employer, in a job, and they sign loans and credit cards and debt obligations as they promise to pay. There's a promise to pay the banks for that period of time. Six years for a car loan, 20 years for a student loan, 30 years for a mortgage. But what you don't have, you do not have a promise from a job to pay that over that same period of time, do you? My mom will be going back to Colombia for the first time in over 30 years. This means the world to me and to see her succeed means everything. Thank you. Mm -hmm.